Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. As you saw, I did some shopping. I decided to do a new series for you on floral wall decor. So I went over to uh, one of my favorite stores and uh, I did some Christmas shopping this past season there. So this time I decided to look and see what they had for spring and maybe even for summer. So I did some, uh, a little bit of picking up of a few items because I need uh, either some wall things that are already hanging or containers that hang on the wall for this particular series. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Hi everyone, I've got one more idea for our floral wall decor. This is going to be a framed floral arrangement. I'm going to be using some supplies that I got from Hobby Lobby and the flowers that I got from a store called At Home. Now, uh, some of you are asking like, where did you get this? Where did you get that? Where are your flowers, your greenery, etc.? Now I've said uh, you can get your flowers from anywhere that you are able to get them from. There are some people that are not from my state and there's some people that are not even from my country that are watching this so they don't have you know Hobby Lobby, Michaels, uh, the store at home that I like to go to uh, and some other stores that I are available to me are not available everywhere in the world so I always suggest that you pick your flowers from the places that you like whether it's inexpensive or whether it is expensive you may go on amazon.com places like that and purchase your florals from online what I'd like to teach you is how to put together those florals and greenery that you have found to create an arrangement. So your flowers don't matter where you get them from, just get yourself together some pretty things that you like and how much you wanna spend and we will put something together. I have a frame that I'm gonna be using. You can use any frame, it could be a maybe a, a frame that uh, some glass broke off of but you love the picture frame it might be like a little window frame or something something similar like that last time we did a uh, little wooden sign so we're kind of going in that same direction but this in this case it is a, a little frame and I'm going to show that to you so let's go ahead and talk about the supplies that we're going to need and then we'll get to crafting all right, what I have here is this wooden frame. It actually stands like this. I got this item from a store uh, that's available to me. It's called Hobby Lobby. Some of you may know this store, some of you may not. Uh, so anyway, this is what I found. Maybe you can put together something on your own. This looks like a little gate to me, is what it looks like, like a little garden gate, but it could be anything really. All right, so this is what, what we're gonna need is something like this or maybe a picture frame, okay? We're going to be needing some flowers and I have chosen this bush and I've always said that I like to choose bushes rather than single stems because it is a more cost effective way uh, to create an arrangement, but you can do them as you, whatever you find is fine. Okay, so I've got these flowers and it's got like a little assortment of things on there and that is why I picked this bush. And yes, I do love pink, so that is why I picked pink. I'm in a pink rampage right now. I also picked some extra, uh, I don't know what this would be, like little grasses and it's got some little pink on there so I decided to use that and of course I've got some greenery that I had used uh, some some branches from this already I had already cut from it and I've got some fern here that I had already cut from but I'm going to go ahead and use uh, some bits from this for my arrangement so that's my florals and my greenery and of course uh, my base I'm going to be using some ribbon because I am going to be putting a bow uh, the ribbon doesn't really matter what you use as long as you feel like it is matching or coordinating to what you have. I, I've got this uh, leftover ribbon. It's a sheer ribbon, but I'm going to go ahead and use that. I think it's really pretty. 
and it has a little bit of a kind of a shabby chic look to it. I'm going to be using a wire and I have here, this is a, I think it's 24, yeah, this is a 24 gauge wire. It's almost running out, but I do have another little spool that I'm gonna cut ribbon, I mean wire from. So of course you're gonna need some wire. I'm gonna be using some floral tape. I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. And of course I'm gonna need some hot glue sticks. Someone asked me, is that plain glue or is that Gorilla Glue? I just use a regular uh, glue sticks for your glue gun. You can use whatever uh, you want. If you wanna use Gorilla Glue and make things a little more permanent, go right ahead. I like sometimes to take things apart, so that's why I use just regular glue. Okay, I'm gonna be using my wire cutters, scissors, and I like to have these little pliers to bend the ed edges of the wire, sometimes to twir twirl them and uh, keep them out of where they might be poking me. So I like to have those on hand. Um, I think this is basically all we're going to be needing and uh, let's get to crafting. All right, what I have done is I've cut all my flowers and my greenery from the bushes. So I've separated all my stems here now. I've got individual stems of flowers and of course of my greenery. Just some individual stems, which I can cut even more, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave them like that until I know what I'm gonna use exactly so I don't have all these little pieces left over and just floating around. So that's what I've done. I've cut everything from their base of their floral bush. So these parts here, I can go ahead and throw that away. We won't be needing that. Okay, we're gonna put our flowers off to the side for a little bit because one of the first things that I like to do uh, well, one of the, I guess it's the second thing that I like to do before I start decorating, because uh, the first one is obviously preparing all my my uh, supplies, my materials by removing stickers and cutting and separating and so forth. But one of the things that I like to do before I actually start making a wreath or anything else is if I'm going to be using a bow, would be to make the bow first because then I can know what size my bow is so then I'll know where I want to place my bow and then everything else will be going around it. So here's my ribbon that I said I'm going to be using and this is a wire edged ribbon and I love to use wire edged ribbon to create bows. Now if you like to how if you like to learn how to make bows I'll go ahead and put the, the link in the description box below so that you can see how I create handmade bows. Uh, but I'll go ahead and just quickly go through uh, what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be just make, choosing a, a little towel that I kind of want to run across. the. Uh, this is the top, as I mentioned. I'm putting it sideways so that it fits on my table and then you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to pick a piece that fits across, but then I'm going to add like maybe half extra. And that's going to be one tail to my bow. And then I'm just going to pinch and twist and start creating loops and I always make sure that the pretty side of my ribbon is up and on the outside of my loop so then I pinch again twist it so that I always make the pretty side is up I bring them both together the loops make sure they're the same size and then therefore these are my guides to creating more loops on either side okay so this all just depends on how much ribbon I have I don't really know this is sort of a leftover uh, this was a roll that had 30 feet or 10 yards and I did get this from Hobby Lobby uh, again you can get them at the Dollar Tree dollar stores uh, your pound stores if they have ribbons there I'm not really uh, familiar with the pound stores in uh, the UK uh, but I've heard about them uh, I did have someone tell me they're very limited as to what the kind of supplies they have in there but if you can find some uh, inexpensive ribbon um, at least three yards I'm not really sure how much that would be in meters but I believe it would be about to the same three meters or so of ribbon you can make a good uh, ribbon uh, bow with that here I've got uh, six loops I'm gonna go ahead and do eight loops so I'm gonna do two more or one more on each side so now I've got four loops on each side and I have eight loops all together and I think that is good enough for my ribbon. And this, uh, this other uh, tail, I'm gonna just cut it nice and short. I'm not gonna do a long tail on this side. And I'll show you why when I'm putting it all together. And I need a nice piece of, size piece of rib, uh, wire. So I'm cutting about eight inches because I want the wire not only to tie around my, uh, bow here to tie it together but I also wanted to reach around this part of the wood where I can twist it behind and tie it up okay so I want it to fit right there so this gives me an idea of how much space my bow is going to take 
Don't worry about making it all pretty right now. You just want to know about the space that it's going to take. And I know that it's going to cover this little corner. So then I know that I want to start placing flowers along this way and along this way. Now you can choose to place flowers all the way around your frame. But I'm going to be doing it on what you're looking at would be the left side. But to me, it is my, the right side of the frame. Right? This is the right to you. You're looking at it, I guess this would be the left. Is that correct? Are you looking at the left side? I'm not really sure now. Okay, but here we go, my right hand, and I'm gonna put it on the bottom and on the side. Now, you could choose to do the top and then go down on one, one side, either the left or the, or the right, or you could uh, choose to just go all the way around. I'm just gonna go at the bottom and up the top. I want to make it look like there's something growing here and it's just kind of made its way that way and at the top of this little gate, okay? So that is what the look that I want to achieve. So the first thing I want to do, or actually the third, I don't know why I keep saying the first thing because it's not, I want to choose some flowers to be my first flower that I'm going to place on my frame. But I'm going to create like a little spray of flowers. So I'm going to make it look like, oh, I went out into the field and I collected some flowers and I put them together to create a little, a little bouquet or a little spray of flowers, okay? So this is my longest flower and I'm going to compare it to the frame here and where this bow is going to be. And that's just fine. I like the length because I can put some more little flowers down here the, at this point here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a, this height. You can go higher if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose that height. What I've done is I've also I've removed uh, this little leaves here from the bottom stem because I don't need them, they're kind of in the way. So I went ahead and I removed them. So now that we know that this is the, the height that I want running up the side, now I can choose other flowers. And I don't need them to be at the very bottom here because that's where the bow's gonna hide. I just need them to be somewhere in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little triangle of flowers, okay? So I'm gonna take my next flower, which I like this one here, it's got a little hydrangea, and I'm gonna trim off some of the bottom there because I don't need that, and I'm gonna place it. Here we go, we're gonna create a triangle going up like that. So I need one flower on this side, I need another flower on this side at the same height. So this is the height that I'm gonna choose. And to put them together, you're gonna to need some wire, And we're gonna wire that together. Just get them nice and tight and together. And then you can hide the wire by using your floral tape. Where is the beginning of my floral tape? I think this is it. Yep, let me go ahead and trim that off just so we start off kind of pretty, all right? We're gonna take our floral tape and if you saw me doing uh, corsages, this is basically the same idea. And we're just going to wrap it around, pull on the tape that it lo loosens up the adhesive on the tape and wrap it around, press it down as you go, and then just trim it off. And that just hides all the wiring that you just did on your little spray. Okay, so we're gonna continue on to add another flower to this. And I like this white flower and I also want it at the same height of the hydrangea, but I want it on the other side. So I'm gonna trim off some of this. I don't need this bottom part. I could save these little leaf bits that I've got here, these little branches to add on here and there on my arrangement. So we're gonna keep holding on to that. Okay, so now I want this one on the other side. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wire it and then I'm gonna take my floral tape. And then what I wanna do is I wanna create another little floral spray like this or bigger. And I'm gonna add that. That one's gonna go across of the bottom part of my frame, all right? So let's go ahead and wire this up, put some tape, and then I'm going to be taking a little break so that I can do the other sprays and then I'll be back.
All right, so I'm back and you saw me create this first uh, spray here where I put the flowers together and they created a triangle going across and then up. That is a triangle. So this is a little bouquet or a little spray of flowers. I've gone ahead and I've created a third one and you can see there the triangle of flowers. And then I've gone ahead and I've created another, actually this is the second, this is the third one. And um, in this case, um, I just took this long piece as my top, which would be my height. And then these are creating the, the triangle like that, going across and then up, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to continue building onto these floral sprays. And I've used this little uh, grassy bit on this one. So I want to go ahead and add it into this one. And I kind of like the way it kind of sticks out the, the top. So I'm going to put it somewhere up here in the back. I'm just going to tape it there and wire it to the stem and tape it. And I want it around there. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Also adding a little bit of height by tucking it there. And again, I'm going to go ahead and wire it and tape it. So that's what I'm going to do to those. And I'm going to wire and tape them just like I did the first spray. All right. And there you go. There's the first one that I showed you. I was going to put that on there. And of course, this one already has one. So I think that is really pretty. And I can save the rest of these, which I had left over in my grasses. I can save those for another project. Now, remember, when you buy bushes, that is the beauty of them, is that you don't have to use everything in the bush. You can just use a little bit. Now, for my flowers, I am using all of them because I do want it to be really nice and full. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to use some greenery. And I'm using this ivy. And uh, this ivy bush, I had already cut from and used in a prior arrangement so thankfully I still had some uh, branches left over which I'm going to use in this arrangement and what I'm going to do again I'm going to prepare these by cutting off any leaves that are too close to the bottom and they're probably going to be in the way from when I do wire them on and then of course uh, tape them now I'm going to tell you something right now you can skip the wiring and you can go straight to taping so you can go ahead and just take your item and just like when we taped it around the wire, we're gonna just tape it holding onto both. But you wanna make sure that you get it on there good so that the uh, stem that you've just added, whether it's greenery or floral, does not come off. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back up just to make sure that it is well placed on there and it's not going anywhere. This is the greenery piece that I just added on here and I've taped it down. So I saved myself some wire. So if you feel like you want to do that, go right ahead. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at my my green, my little, what are these again? <laughs> my little sprays of flowers. And I'm looking to see if there's any bare areas. And that's basically where I want to add in greenery, whether it's either sticking out from through, or either from the back or I want it to come somewhere in between in the front. So again, I'm gonna trim off and these are these leaves that I cut off. I always save them because I always have some little little projects, some little craft that I want to do where maybe um, I can use those. Now, I've also discovered that I do not need this little branch. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off and just push it to the side. And I'm going to tuck this in here between these two flowers. And again, I can wire them and tape them. But like I said, if you don't want to wire, you want to skip that part, just go ahead at least tape them. And you really want to do this so that just your stems, when you're looking at your arrangement, you know, you just don't see a bunch of, just a bunch of stems all wired or hot glued together. They're somehow taped and they look pretty. It looks like a little bush. And there you go. It's a little finished spray is what it is. So there we go. I've added some greenery to that one, just like I did to this one where I added this greenery. And I've got one more and I'm going to go and add some greenery to that. And then we'll move on to the next step. All right, here are my finished sprays, and I think they're just just full enough. I don't need them to be any fuller than that. I think they look really nice and pretty, just like that. So I probably won't be using any more of this greenery, but I do still have this fern, and I may or may not use it. So I did cut it up and get it ready just in case. And if I don't use it, of course, it'll be ready for the next project. So I'm gonna take my frame, and I established this is the top because it has these little hooks from where I can hang them on the wall. You can see that there, these little little things here where I can hang um, 
them on the wall. So that is the top of my my frame, this part here, and this is the bottom. Okay, that was gonna be my bottom one. This is the one that I had chosen to be on the side here. And then my bow is going to cover it right there. Now remember I told you not to get rid of those uh, greenery bits, little vine, and we're, gonna, we're probably gonna use them to fill in. And of course we might use our fern to hide some more. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. You could just take this, and of course you could just take some wire and a nice long piece and wrap it around and grab this whole bit onto the wood part or what would be the, the frame of well, of your frame, whether it's a little gate like this or a little uh, photo frame that you don't put a photo in, or maybe you do have a picture in there, I don't know. So we just take a nice long piece of wire and then we're going to, of course, make sure that we have where um, it'll come back up and tie onto. And then I could just tie this on by wiring it on. And then of course, twisting the ends of the wire together and that'll hold it on. But what I want to do instead of using the wire is I'm gonna be using my glue gun. So that's why I had it here all nice and ready and plugged in. So I'm just putting a generous amount of glue onto the wood of my frame. And then I'm gonna press down on my stem from my pretty little spray that I created here. And I'm just gonna hold it down until the uh, glue is uh, drying up. Make sure you don't get your fingers in there and you don't wanna burn them, of course. So uh, just let that dry and then we'll go ahead and put on uh, the next one. All right, so we're gonna pretend that this is completely dry. It is not for me, but you wanna make sure that it is for you. That way it doesn't move around on you anymore. And I remember that I had these little finger, these are like little silicone fingertips. They're great for when you're working on, uh, like with hot glue so you don't burn yourself and you need to poke down on something. And of course it's silicone, just like my, my pads here are silicone where I put down my glue gun. So any glue that gets on there peels off very easily. So again, if you get any glue on your little tips, they'll come off very easily and they'll be nice and clean. Okay, so I wanna put the next floral spray running across the bottom of the frame, but this is a really long stem and I want it to be more, you know, a little closer to the edge here. So I'm gonna trim off all that bit off. So I'm glad I have these nice big wire cutters. Now, I could just easily just bend it. Let me go ahead and do that for you. I could just easily bend it and do that, but I really want that out of the way. So I'm gonna attempt to cut it with all these pieces here. And this is why I always say, get yourself some good wire cutters. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit at a time. There we go, I've got that bit done. Oh, I need to get a little bit. I will do it. It will come off. There we go. It did. <laughs> okay. There we go. I don't want to cut this bit off because I wanted you to see how sometimes you do have to struggle to, to get things to work. Okay. All right. Let's see. I've got this pretty green vine that I'm kind of, um, I'm going to kind of bend down a little bit when I put it here on this bottom part right here. I want it to go across like that on the bottom. So now I'm gonna put plenty of glue so this piece sticks down. I'm gonna need some glue right about right up here and then lots of it right here. And I feel like I'm going to have to use my wire in this case because this part of the frame is higher than this part. So obviously this is not gonna lay flat on here. It's gonna just catch one of the stems right here and another with the glue that I've placed up here. So I need to go ahead and get some more glue on there actually and make sure that it is grabbing on to the stem. Now that little piece of wire that I kind of chucked over to the side, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and I'm gonna go ahead and wire around here on this uh, stem, around the wood and the, the floral stem so I'll make sure that it's held on good. Okay, well I can't find my piece of wire, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut another one, ha ha. That always happens to me. I cut a piece of wire and then I'm like, oh, well, and then I put it off to the side and then, then I can't find it because I move things around. I'll probably find it when I'm sweeping. Okay, so I'm gonna get a nice big, or a nice long piece. And I'm gonna bring it around from the back 
to the front because I really don't want any wire edges at the back of my frame because I don't want them scratching up the wall or door, you know, depending on where I hang it. I don't want it, the little ends to be scratching at the, uh, the paint or any finish that might be on my front, front door or wherever you decide to put it. Okay, so all I'm doing is now is I'm just bending in those little wire edges so they're not poking upward or anywhere where if I stick my finger in there, when I, especially when I put my bow in there, I'm not gonna burn myself. So I want you to see close up what I've done. Right there, okay? So that is how I've put that together. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend my flowers so that they're not laying flat and looking like, let me show you. See this flower right here? See how it's just flat like that? I'm just gonna bend it just so it's facing forward a bit, okay? So it's not hidden away and all these cute little, little stems that are on there are all showing. I wanted this greenery bit to kind of come down a little bit. Let's bring it over around this way. I wanted that to kind of come down and hang. So that's what you want to do once everything is nice and dry is you want to just bend your stems a bit so that you're actually looking at your flowers and they're not, you know, just flat on your frame. There we go. See how pretty they look now? They're all facing forward and it looks really nice and full. Now I did have a third um, spray that I created. Now this third spray, I could actually make way more height up at the top or I could go off here at the bottom and kind of come up the side. And I think that's what I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards that. Let's see. No, you know what? I think I do like it coming out the top and adding more height. What do you think? And then I'll just bend this flower this way so that I don't have two exact flowers next to each other. I think I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and also trim part of the stem. I don't need it to be that long. And that's gonna get tucked behind here. So let me put this so that you can see what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna put glue right here. And then I'm gonna put this down right on there and then just let all this come on top of it like that, okay? So I'm just gonna move it. I don't have to use that third spray. I could save it for something else. Maybe something to coordinate nearby. I could have just stuck, stuck this in a little vase. Okay, let's make sure it's not too low. That's perfectly fine like that. All right, now I can place these flowers back into position. Then this one, and this one this way. That looks so pretty. Yeah, there we go. And then we got these little flowers right here in the middle. Got a little spray coming out of there. That's all you wanna do is just bend them and have them facing the way that you want. We're almost done with this. This was something very simple. It's gonna take a little time just to put the little sprays together, but once you get them together, the rest of the process is really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put my ribbon on there uh, in the corner because now I want to see how much it's actually covering and how much more I'm going to need to cover the rest of my arrangement. What I'm doing is I'm tying the bow, the ribbon here, the bow, onto the stem where I could reach around it. And now I just want to bend down these, these bits. Let me bring this up so that you can see. I just wired it around that little bit of the stem on the one that's going across here on the bottom. I just put the wire around the that right there, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna bring it up and make it look pretty. I've got one long tail that I wanted to run across uh, the bottom. This other tail can just stick out this way. And we're gonna just kind of open up the bow and I'm gonna take this tail and I'm just gonna wind it between these, uh, this other little, I'm gonna go ahead and do my little end edge there. I'm just gonna 
intertwine is what I should say. I'm going to intertwine the ribbon into the spray at the bottom. Something like that. Okay, so now I can see that because this is a sheer ribbon and it's not a, a number 40, which is that nice thick two and a half inch ribbon. This is a, about maybe an inch and a half at the most. Uh, I can see now that um, that um, I've got some little spaces and this is why I didn't want you to get rid of these little leaves because now we can use those to glue into place in there and fill in all the little spots. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the stem here. Tuck that behind the bow a little bit. Let's cut this piece off the top here. I'm gonna use that. Put some glue on the stem. Have this one coming out the side here. And then I've got these extra little leaves here where I'm gonna put some a glue on there. And also underneath the bow, just glue them onto the either the wood of the frame or the little stems that are already glued on there from the big sprays, just so that you can cover all of that, okay? So that you have some coverage and you fill in that little spot and everything looks nice and pretty and you don't have any bare spots. I'm gonna take this other one as well, put some glue on it. I'm gonna put some glue on the little tip of it, bring up the bow and then just put it underneath there. And that also helps to lift the bow, the loops of the bow upward. And just tuck in your, tuck in your ribbon, intertwine it in your flowers. Okay, so now I've got these fern uh, leaves that I also wanted to use. I think they're really pretty and it has a different green. It's a little bit lighter on some spots, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So I'm just gonna, Trim them off at the bottom. Just trim off some pieces. And again, I'm just going to put some glue. And then I'm just going to tuck them in here and there in my arrangement. Wherever I feel like, oh yeah, I would like a little a little bit of green to come out. And that all just depends on how you're, where you, how you're looking at it. And what you see, like, oh yeah, like I would like something coming out right here. But don't hide your flowers. So make sure that you leave them uh, somewhere behind a flower. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue behind this one and add it right there. And it's got this little little bit that was on there too. I'm gonna to go ahead and glue that on as well. I just think it adds another texture to my arrangement. Glue that on and make sure that it's sticking down onto the wood as well, not just the, uh, the leaf that I put there. Glue that down. There's something about working with a hot glue gun and uh, florals, like when the glue hits the floral, the plastic on it, um, th there's a certain scent to it. That reminds me so much of when I used to work uh, at Michael's and I was doing floral arrangements. So it's kind of nostalgic to be doing this. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna grab another one of these bits with a little grasses on it. And I'm gonna put it coming out from behind the the bow because I feel like I need, oops, sorry, I moved the camera. Let's put it back. I feel like I need something right here, okay? So I'm gonna do that, but I think I'm gonna pull it off the, the grassy bits so I can cut a, a shorter piece. I don't want it to be that long. Let's get rid of the pieces that are coming off and just put some glue there. Tuck in behind the bow, make sure it's touching something. And then a little bit on this little part, tuck it in, in there. There we go. Now I've got something more coming off the side there where the bow is, so it doesn't look so bare. So that's what, what uh, you can do with these um, pieces, little either flowers or little grasses and leaves that are left over. I'm gonna go ahead and continue putting some more of these fern leaves into my arrangement because I want some up here going off to the side, but you can see how it's all starting to look. So let me go ahead and do that and I will be back. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've added some ferns 
Uh, I've got one shooting up at the top, one over here on the side, and one off to the side over here on the outside part of my arrangement. And I feel like this is almost done. I did have some some fern and some uh, ivy leaf left over, which I'll use for another arrangement. I remember I had a little bird here, and sometimes, well, what has been happening to me lately is that I wanna put a little bird or something into my arrangements, and for some reason, I forget them and I don't put them on. But I did remember that I did have a little bird, and he's kind of like a, almost a hot pink. It's supposed to be a little red cardinal, but he looks kind of pinkish to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him on here, and I'm gonna put him right here in the bow just to give that bow a little more texture because it is that sheer ribbon. So there he is right on that bow. And there we go, I've completed it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the wall so that you can see the completed wooden frame floral arrangement. All right, so here's my finished uh, wall decor. I think it came out really pretty. I hope that you did get a good idea of how, how to put together some wall decorations. It was only three uh, ideas that I had for you, but I feel like I showed you enough so that you can put together something of your own. If you'd like to see more, let me know down below in the comments. Now, I will want to start a now a series on bouquets and corsages, but I did do some corsages already, so what I'm going to do is something a little different, so I'm going to surprise you, but I want, I want you to let you know that I am going to be doing a bouquet. So let me know what you think of that idea, and I'll get on that uh, as soon as I can. Um, let me know what you thought of my arrangement. This is a wooden frame floral arrangement and this is for the wall or the a door wherever you want to put it okay so give me a big old thumbs up i'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up make sure you leave a nice comment down below subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and thank you to those who have already done so and share on your social medias i would greatly appreciate that and as always enjoy mm -hmm.